one of the studies that we did recently, in particular around sort of that cloud adoption, uh, together with IDC, was the digital enterprise, where we already saw 53% of enterprises currently either using or planning to use hybrid cloud solution. And that's not surprisingly, given the fact that obviously you want to leverage the um, benefits of the public cloud. Uh, and at the same time, also for some reasons, you want to still uh, maintain control of your own, infra own infrastructure and maybe take the maximum performance out of some hardware that you have, uh, which basically lends itself for, for hybrid cloud architectures. So that's, that perfectly fits into the picture. I think what we try to do as well is, is enable that for our customers to really build a environment where both your on-premise environment can be shifted to a public cloud environment. And at the same time, if you want to retain some areas within a, uh, 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 your own infrastructure environment, you can still do that. We are still an exclusive European uh, data center provider, um, but we have now about 45 data centers across uh, uh, all of our 11 markets in Europe. And we also have certain gateway markets that enable our customers to reach even beyond European uh, locations. Um, within those 45 data centers, we have our own Cloud Connect uh, aggregation solution, which means that customers that are located in any of our data centers, for example, in Dublin, uh, can connect into the public cloud wherever they are located, which means that we really start to become an interconnection hub for, for our customers to reach the, the clouds. Um, and we, we continue to see growing demand uh, for, for that, uh, hence why we're extending our data center footprint. Um, recently, we announced also extensions here in Dublin. Um, in addition to the recent opening of Dublin 3, we're already going beyond that and increasing the D Dublin 3 environment. If you look at some of the mega trends that are obviously happening around the Internet of Things, uh, the self-driving cars and anything like that, uh, people start to realize that their connectivity towards those devices and these enterprise environments are going much beyond what a public cloud provider can, uh, can offer. And therefore, a lot of our customers are looking for uh, geographically dispersed data centers that can cater for, for this demand and, and trend. So that's something we certainly are seeing across our data center space in Europe. Uh, in addition, we also still see a lot of uh, growth coming from US-based businesses coming to Europe and starting to extend their footprint um, in Europe and looking for a European uh, entry point, uh, could be for an entry cloud or just a distribution point, for example, their, um, their content that, uh, that companies are distributing. Clearly, cloud here to stay and enterprise CIOs need to find a way to, to, to cater for that. Um, and I think there's no CIO that's uh, available anymore that has not uh, started to develop some form of a cloud strategy or a vision in terms of how their enterprise can move to, uh, to the cloud. Um, so clearly cost control is one of the key areas where we do see a lot of partners of interaction and partners of the public cloud providers that are catering for cloud automation or cloud cost control environments. Um, because many people uh, li uh, like the fact of just spinning up a new resource in the cloud but forget to turn it down after it's not needed anymore, which is kind of the basic premise under the usage-based uh, model. Um, so this is where, where we do advise uh, our enterprises always work together with a third party that can help you uh, to, to, to get the benefits of, uh, of the public cloud. Um, one other thing I would, I would mention there is that if you look at the journey to the cloud, um, a lot of customers are also looking at the total environment that this is, this is happening in. It's not just connecting your on-premise data center with a single public cloud environment anymore, but it is likely a connection between your customers, your peers, your suppliers, as well as your connectivity towards your multiple public cloud providers. And this is where obviously networking costs are becoming more and more important for our customers and solutions that cater for a single point of contact, for example, uh, is, uh, are, are in high demand. Um, and I would say are, are something to be looking at if you are an enterprise CIO.